Hi, my name is Mike Bates, and I'm going to show you a feature in the Web Service Adapter for Insight today that has to do with um, rolling up array parameters within a web service. And what I have here on the screen is a typical web service job. This is connecting to AX, and you're typically going to have your execute step that will execute the actual call. And then there's a number of insert steps where you insert the array parameters uh, that are a part of that call. Now, this is how we have our jump start set up for AX. We, we have a customer create call, and we're adding in these various parameters that you can see beneath here. Well, sometimes you want to just have a single call and not have to roll up all these parameters. There's a couple reasons for that. Um, one is um, for error handling, and one is just for ease of the map. So I'll, I'll show how to roll these up and what effect that has on the various areas. So this is a typical map, customer create. I'm going to do a much simpler map where we just look at this um, one array parameter beneath it called dirt party. So if we look at my other ETS that I have, I started a simpler ETS with the execute step and the dirt party insert. So a normal setup, I'm going to do that execute step the, the dirt party insert has the organization name in it that I want to populate. So, and again, I know I know this isn't going to work there. You really do need to have those steps that I had in the other DTS to, to get a working uh, process. But I just want to show what's going to happen when I, um, if I link this up. So if I were to make a map where I was attempting to create an organization within AX, populate the name, I might have a link like this with the two steps, the two, you know, the execute and the parameter step. When I run that, so I've kind of preset this up, when I run that, I get a row failure. And you can see it's got my two steps in it, one's the insert, one's the execute. They both error, but it's a row failure. And in Scribe, row failure, there are certain things that you can do with a row failure and certain things you cannot do. Um, it's different than a fatal error. And one of the things you can do to make this act a little differently when you get the error is you can roll this dirt party insert step into the execute step. The way you do that is through the adapter settings. If I go into my settings for the web service adapter. I go to my connection and change my connection. Save my DTS. Go into my actual web service connection to AX. I'm going to edit the settings on that connection. Configuration tab. I pick my customer service create method. You can see I get a list over here on the right of my array elements. So I know that my dirt party array is on my cust table array. It's an array within an array. And I want just one of each of those on my customer create execute step. So I can populate those with a one. Then I just simply save those settings. Once I've saved them, I do need to reconnect to have that take effect in the map. So it's showing, since I've rolled that up, we're going to lose that second entity. So it's showing that it's going to be removing an entity from my map in the field mapping. So OK. So now I'm left with one single step in my map. You can see in my DTS, I now just have my customer create. Um, over here, I've also lost the, there's no longer the dirt party. There's, there was a dirt party entity over here in the adapter uh, objects. That's now gone. So now I have a single step, and it has all of my fields from the entities that are children of that top execute. So here's my cusp table. There's all my dirt party fields and there's that organization name field now a part of that uh, execute step. So now 
Now, if I link that and run this job, again, it's going to fail. We expect it to. But now, it will actually, so the configuration was the same before. I had it doing a fatal error. I wanted to do, I wanted to do an end job and was hoping that would result in a fatal error. But the previous configuration with the two blocks, I just got a row error, as I showed. Now, when I run this, it's actually going to show up as a fatal error, which will allow it to go. This means it can go into the retry queue, which you can't do with the row error. Um, so that can be pretty helpful. Uh, usually, the standard setup is the, the, the jump start. I do some checks in the pre op step control that can force things to go to the, in, to the retry queue. So here I have an end job failed. So I'm forcing a, a failure in that case. And that can allow you to send it to the retry queue. But you can't always, that is not an option for you, and you need to just go there when, when the actual execute fails. You need to be able to roll up your steps into just a single execute step, which I've done over here in this example. So that's just one little tip for AX. Um, we'll be putting on the rails. Thanks for watching.